So we made several attempts to grab this satellite with the capture bar, but every time Pierre touched the bottom of the satellite with the capture bar, it bounced off out of control. Fortunately, the engineers that owned Intelsat, they could send commands back up to it, restabilize it so we could maneuver back closer to it and try again. So we tried three or four times the first day to grab it, every time it bounced off. Second day, we tried again, every time it bounced off. So at that point, um, we were kind of at a loss. We didn't know what we were going to do. And of course, all this time, I'm operating the arm. I'm chasing the satellite with Pierre on the end of it. And so it was a, it was a very demanding part of the flight. So after two days of trying, the ground said, okay, we're gonna take the third day off. And then we'll go back out and try on the fourth day to do it again. Well, of course, we felt like the mission was lost. So. You know, we, the ground told us, go ahead, get a good night's sleep, we'll call you in the morning. So we got to thinking, and matter of fact, I saw that uh, I could hear that Dan and Chili were talking up on the flight deck, we were supposed to be asleep. So I floated up to the flight deck with them, and they were talking about how Endeavor was so maneuverable and was so efficient on its fuel burn that they thought we could get close enough to the satellite to where Rick and Pierre could just grab it with their gloved hands.